But first, after no less than five demolition dates, either pushed back or canceled altogether, the city of Jacksonville is now stepping in to make sure that the Berkman 2 finally comes down. And behind us, uh, a look at downtown where the so-called eyesore is. So it's right here. I know it's dark right now, so you can't yeah. really see it, but you know what we're talking about. Tonight, the city council voted to approve an emergency ordinance setting aside more than a million dollars to cover the remaining demolition cost. All your size, Haley Harrison was at the city council meeting tonight. She is joining us live with the reasons why the city decided to step in, Haley. Now, essentially, the mayor's office asked the city council to take on the proposal with the current contractor to finish the work. It says it hasn't yet gotten paid for by the property owner. In fact, the city says the contractor was going to undo some of its work while the issue of non-payment was in limbo, which would put the demolition of the Berkman 2 behind even more. Now, also, the work up to this point has included weakening the structure for implosion, the city says, which, which is a public safety concern. The projection is about 1.1 to 1.2 million dollars for remaining costs to demolish the Berkman 2 and clean it up. That money approved tonight will now move from the general fund into code enforcement's nuisance abatement fund. Next, the city says there is an administrative hearing Thursday that addresses code compliance. If things move forward Thursday, as expected, Jacksonville's chief administrative officer says it will be ready to move forward quickly with the contractor. We'll do it at our expense at first. But we'll put an additional lien on the property because ultimately uh, the when and how will be determined, but the, the taxpayers will recoup that expense from the, pro uh, the property owner. Now, Brian Hughes claims the next demolition date announced by the city will be the last and final date. He says we'll be attempting to implode the Berkman tube sometime next month. Live outside Jacksonville City Hall, I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News on your side.